Welcome to Revit Warnings Resolved, one in a series of videos showing how ID8 Explorer can be used to resolve Revit warnings. In this video, we'll showcase the Identical Instances warning. ID8 Explorer now includes detailed information about Revit warnings, providing superior quality control by giving you the control to define and manage only the warnings you deem appropriate. Failure to manage the warnings in your Revit project could result in poor performance, slow synchronization times, incorrect schedule data, model inaccuracy, or even file corruption. Use ID8 Explorer to keep warnings under control and mitigate your risk. To prepare ourselves for warnings work, we should first check our tools. You'll want to have at the ready ID8 Explorer with the Warnings tab active. Of course, you'll also want to bring your Revit Ninja skills too. Our ranking file has been set so that identical instances are ranked as a high-level warning. This, however, is completely customizable to your firm or your project. By default, the warnings are organized by the type of warning with rankings that are categorized as high at the top of the list. We can quickly expand on the 11 identical instance warnings and see which elements are in conflict. By expanding on the first set of conflicts, you can see each individual element. By clicking on each individual element in the tree, you can see additional details such as the element ID, who originally created the element, and who last updated the element in the central model. You can review each element. The first element in the list will be the element that was created first. Be sure to review the display in Revit's property palette because the geometry might be identical, but the data might be quite different. In my example, the table created by George has been updated with Kobe data by Richard. The second table was created by Richard but does not have the Kobe information. By reviewing all the information, you can choose which table to keep and which table to delete. We will remove the second table created by Richard and our warnings are automatically reduced to 10. I can then toggle the sort by to element selection. I can then review all the chairs by selecting them and creating a 3D selection box. This might help me review which chairs to remove and which chairs to keep. Using these different sort by methods allows me maximum control and flexibility. In addition to these sort by methods for reviewing elements, we also have the ability to right click on identical instances and decide whether to retain all originals or retain latest. This gives us the ability to quickly fix mistakes right from the ID8 Explorer interface. This fix is based on the Revit element ID. ID8 software provides extensive online documentation on exploring and managing warnings within the ID8 Explorer environment. Please review our online help topics under Explore Revit Warnings. Warnings are a key indicator of Revit project health. Stay on top of your Revit warnings with ID8 Explorer to improve performance and reduce risk. Learn more at id8software.com forward slash ID8 Explorer. I'm Richard Taylor and thanks for watching.